Hello everyone, Red Panda Bricks here, back again for another LEGO video. Today I decided I'd show you my LEGO collection. Starting to the left of me, we have this stuff here, this set's here. Um, there's, there's that set I reviewed. I have, I have this one here. The pretty cool set with good figures. This one I got from a friend for Christmas. Pretty cool. This one I got from a friend who was moving. And he really was only interested in Lego Star Wars, so he gave me some of his sets. And this one was also given to me by a friend for my birthday. The reason why it sits all the way at the bottom, even though it's such a great set, is because it was on a it was on a shelf or not a shelf, but it was on a I'm not sure what it's called, but the thing the TV sits on, it was on one of those, and my sister knocked it down and it fell. So now it sits at the bottom, where if it falls, there's no real damage. And here, we have my main Lego area. I always have to have the blinds open during filming. Otherwise, it's really dark in here. Too dark for filming. Yeah, I have all the sets I really like. Or, yeah, the sets, like, the, t the shelves the sets are on, they kind of decide, you know which ones are better and which ones are not really worse but not as good which ones I prefer and which ones I don't see so these ones I prefer the most these ones down here I prefer a little bit less and then I have these bins see it's a little bit hard to see but yeah I have some Legos in here. Okay, hold on. Now, I have a flashlight, which can help. So in here, I have some uh, some sets. This is the one I'm going to destroy soon. If you've seen one of my my review on it, you would know what I'm talking about. I have some sets in here. Here. And finally, oh, sorry for that. My finger got in the way. Finally, I have sets in here. These two bins, however, they're not for sets. This one is just full of random Lego bricks. Very heavy. And this one is full of my minifigures. If I just pull out a random minifigure... Hold on. This figure here, it's Batman. I got it from a book from a book fair. Pretty cool looking Batman. I like these, uh, the leg printing and the, yeah, it's got a brown mask here. Let me get a better angle. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty cool, pretty cool figure. He doesn't actually come in any sets. He only ever came in that one book. Okay, so. This will probably be somewhere in the middle of the video, but I just ended filming, and then I realized, I forgot to show you guys this. I don't know how I could do that. So, there aren't really any Ninjago figures in this bin, but, however, I do keep them all in here, the ones that aren't part of sets. And this bin here is for... The set which I want to rebuild, but it's going to take a while. Because I'd have to find all the pieces. 
Here's the instruction booklet. It has a paper towel in it. That's been left there because the cat threw up, so I had to clean it, then let it dry, and I haven't really opened the book since. Speaking of which, there's my cat. And finally, we have, not finally, but finally for these three bins, we have this one where I just put all the advent calendar stuff in here. I was supposed to get one last year, but I wasn't able to do it. Because it, it like sold out. We were going to see if it was going to go on sale, but it never did. Here, I keep all the extras pieces from LEGO sets. Yeah, I've gotten quite a lot. You can actually make... This is a good place for me if I ever want to make weapons, because this place is just full of ways to make weapons. Here I have a uh, Lego bit, it's sort of like a Lego case where you put all your Legos in, but it's empty because I took all the Legos out. Here's that instruction booklet again. Here's another bin full of Legos. And another bin full of Legos. Oh yeah, I guess I should also point out, to my right of me, in my closet, I have some Lego books. Which I'll get the flashlight to show you, which I also just realized I left on. Yep, here's those books. This one came with a Palpatine figure that I've lost. This one came... Yeah, this one was a part of a set with a... a one of the battle droids that's like the brown one with the round head. And a clone, a clone trooper. And this one was actually used so I can make stop motions. It has some cool pieces in it. And I believe that's all I have to say. Okay, one more thing. Which again will be in the middle of the video, but I forgot about. This set here. Still trying to rebuild that one. It got destroyed. And I'm trying to rebuild it, but it's hard to find the pieces. Also this I made. I guess if I ever wanted a house. Because I used to do stop motion, but they were... Yeah, they were a little hard to do. And I just didn't really like doing them that much anymore. And finally, we have this underside of my the underneath my bed I just have a bunch of my boxes see there's some Ninjago ones there's even Star Wars and uh, yeah and then here is where I keep all the instructions and a Lego chessboard yeah I have to be careful opening these because all the instructions might fall out. Oh no. They're falling out. Yeah, pretty much this is where they all go. Okay. I just got that out of the way. One last thing. This. This may look like... Sorry, my finger got in the way of the camera again. But this may look like a regular LEGO Classic set. It's not. It's my LEGO Dimensions collection. You saw these Ninjago figures in the, uh... And my Ninjago collection video. Now, some of my favorites here are, uh... Batgirl, she looks... This is, like, probably the best Batgirl costume. We have E.T. Girl from Portal. And... Hold on, where is it? And Krusty the Clown. I really... 
really think LEGO Dimensions is a great idea. However, if they were to make another, they would have to not do Toys to Life. Plus, I kind of feel like just regular LEGO game, but LEGO Dimensions would have been really good. Because you can have, like, a lot more characters. Because it's kind of expensive to produce certain characters, especially ones like E.T. that never existed before. And possibly even, like, Simpsons characters, which were made before, but, like, a long time ago, so they probably had to just make more. Plus, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff for, like, licensing issues, but I don't know about that. And that was it for today's video. I am sorry for all the times throughout the video my fingers got in the way. I'm not recording this like how I normally do. That's why the camera's also shaking. I'm just holding on to it. And, but yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you'd like to store your Legos. What were some of the things you liked. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.